Welcome back to the channel. On today's live stream, we're going to be unboxing the Angway EPT, EP2 Pro folding electric bike. You can actually get this bike on Amazon. I do have a link down below, but I should have a discount link from them here pretty soon. Uh, I want to see who's all in the chat for right now. I got some fun stories uh, to tell you guys what we did yesterday, but I want to say hi to everybody. Bubble Magic. What's up, Bubble Magic? How you doing? <laughs> all right. Everyone's still joining. So, of course, my beautiful Dee Dee is right behind the camera, so everybody say hi to her. Again, before we get started, if you guys do want to support the channel and you're not interested in the Angway Pro, check out all those other links down below because there might be a bike you like. So, um, yeah, yesterday was pretty cool. Uh, we ended up going to the Rehoboth Beach Christmas parade, but we were actually in it again this year. And um, I don't know if you guys remember last year we took the Surons out, Matthew Mechanic came out, he put on some kind of a dragon outfit or something. He had little wings that were flapping. This year I ended up taking uh, the Super and ended up doing some wheelies in the parade, but of course I ended up getting a flat tire, but uh, ended up getting through the whole parade, filled it up again, and all of a sudden it's still holding air now, so I have no idea what's going on, but we got a, a fun crew from Philly that came down. We, I got to try out the C3 Strum. I, I tried out a Solaria Sting, so I'll have a video of all that fun and uh, all that craziness here coming up very soon. Let me grab a little bit of water. All right, so now we have people I'm gonna knock joining. Over. The Scarecrow said hello. Scarecrow, what's going on? Runaway Electric Shreddy. What's up? Eric Gardner, hey. Hey, what's up, Eric? Emilio Salcuero, hey, Shreddy. What's going on? Matthew Mechanic, bro, got a USA swing arm coming for us to review. Call uh, me after to go over details. You better get three of them. <laughs> John Throckmorton, hey, Shreddy. What's going on, John? Philly in the building. What's happening, my E family? What is up? What's up? Nice so to So stoked you. I got to try your C3 Strom. I, I can't wait to actually like try it out again. I won't tell you guys too much of what I thought about it this time, but definitely, definitely wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Well, the shitty said, what's up? He didn't see that. So, uh, Philly in the building came and joined the parade last night, so we got to meet him. And we got to do burnouts in the parade. I got to do wheelies, flat tire wheelies. Amelia said, love the Christmas tree, Shreddy. I don't know. Did you see me almost knock some stuff over? Dee's going to be mad Loon at me. Loon said, Shreddy, love the tree, guys. What's up, Shreddy. Loon? Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I actually had to uh, put snow on it myself. So I got a little bit of uh, white paint marker and then, then painted all the, uh, no, the leaves. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, We're really into, like, pool ornaments. You guys did I say leaves? Know. Pine needles. Um, Brian Grady said, Shreddy got my friend into e-biking. He got the Vitalin V3. Oh, nice. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. The Vitalin V3. Okay, what color is this bike? Looks like it's like a metallic grayish black. I don't know. Oh, and I saw, uh, what did I see? Uh, electric, one of the newer electric. I don't know if it's like a pro or whatever, but it's like, a, I didn't know they even had a mid-drive. And, uh, they, they even have dual batteries on it. That's kind of crazy. Might have to get one of those on a channel to check it out. Okay, so I'm sh sure that's a charger in there. So make sure you don't throw that away before you grab this box out of there. Definitely the charger. Wounds laughing, Philly in the building. Had a fun, had a lot of fun with you guys last night. Dude, I, I can't believe you guys made it like on time to the parade. Like. When I didn't see you guys in the parking lot, I was like, man, what happened? I was like, man, I hope like they didn't get stuck in traffic. Next thing you know, I see a Talaria thing pull up behind me. I'm like, what the hell? And then a unicycle pulls up. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> so it was pretty awesome. And a C3 Strong. And the C3 Strong. It was, it was awesome. So cool. Unfortunately, Matthew Mechanic had to take off, but we ended up going on to like a little group ride. Went, went by Joe Biden's beach house, did some wheelies and had a blast. And we actually... Um, when we were riding like from, from Joe Biden's house, it, it was like really cold and all of a sudden we like hit the area where it was like the beach, the shore, I didn't tell you this yesterday. It, it like went up like 20 degrees and it got really warm. It felt maybe, awesome. Maybe from the ocean? That, yeah, that's what uh, somebody said uh, that, that we were riding with. I was like, oh, okay. Or like it could have been the, the temperature, the, the ocean temperature is higher than what it was outside. 
All right, so this is a little charger. I probably still, I'll use my uh, Grin Technology chargers all the time. Um, what kind of, it's a barrel connector. So I'm guessing this is probably like a two amp charger. Yeah, it's a 54.6 volt, uh, two amp charger. So it's a 48 volt battery. And there, I'll set that off to the side. I'm wondering if I should lay it down and pull it up. The staples are kind of out of the way. Let's see, let's see. We'll keep on pulling out all the, all the fun stuff here. Any comments, DD? Oh. Uh, Miller Soquero. Is that all bike shreddy? Oh. What's that? It's called his leg. What'd you say, Emilio? That old bike shreddy? Um, Matt's mechanic. Strum a song on that guitar, boy. It, it's got to actually broke a string. I got to go to the uh, guitar shop locally around here. I think I'm going to lay it down and pull it out. And it looks like. Did any of you guys used to watch Shreddy's lives like last year when he first started? If he, if you guys would like stay to the end or if he got a certain amount of likes, he would play his guitar at the end. <laughs> Should he do that this time? No, it's a broken string, DD. I can't play it. Did it you just, get a new one? Just won't work. I gotta go to the guitar store and, and get some new strings. I actually gotta take that guitar back to my old uh, singer and get my electric guitar. And I have like a whole like beautiful orange uh, like stack, like 212 speaker. And it sounds amazing. So I gotta get that back. I also have one 12 speaker somewhere in in a pot I need to get out. So if anybody wants to start a band with Shreddy, come on, <laughs> hit me up. I'll even do like some covers. I don't care. Oh, are those mag tires? These are the first mag tires I ever had on the channel. That's cool. They're not like spokes. And it sounds heavy so far. Yeah, it, <laughs> How does it, it feel? It, it feels a like little solid. bit heavy, but like solid. I don't know. It just it's still kind of in the box and stuff's pulling. And what the heck is this? So this is like post? an electric fat tire foldable like e mountain bike, right? Yes. Oh no, do I need that? Probably not. This looks like it's the handlebars, probably. Yeah. This will figure it out. <laughs> well, we're gonna, you know, struggling with Shreddy. I feel like it's gonna be an episode of struggling with Shreddy today. But we don't mind. We have a good time struggling. Emilio said, "Is that all the bikes, Shreddy?" Emilio, he has a lot of bikes, and he still has more to unbox. Yeah, I still got more. I got how many more? Two. I don't know. So I don't know if you guys remember the Frigo F1 Pro. Um, they sent me another one, but in green. Uh, cause I did have a problem with the first one they sent, like the force were bent, but I gotta, um, I'll probably unbox that live again and just to see how that one <laughs> came out. But, uh, yeah, we got to do that one next. And the other one's called like a van powers. It's like a mountain bike type dealy. And then he has to do the first ride and review of all these bikes he's unboxed. Yep. <laughs> all of them. And then, yeah, I got to review a lot of old, or not review, I got to finish editing some old videos of rides when Chris Shaver was still here. Oh, I got to fill that up with some, some air. What are, what are the rotors? Uh, and he also, 160. Has, he also has videos coming uh, for the Electrify Expo he went to in Austin, Texas. I'm editing that right now. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to do that like in a few parts because I did visit a lot of different electric bikes, uh, <laughs> electric bike companies. I even tried like one electric car. What the heck is all this stuff in here? They have like all this plastic stuff on the side. Is that so it doesn't like get scratched or something? I have no idea. I've never seen that before in a box. That's a first. Oh no. I'm sorry, DD. I didn't break anything just yet. Let me get this out of the way. Put it in a, in a carpeted floor because there, there are staples on the bottom of this. We don't want that sliding around. Any questions, any comments, any comments and questions? I'm about to fall, guys. Uh, Matt said I could restring it. It's as easy as fixing bikes. Oh, I can, I know how to restring guitars, man. I've been dancing? doing that for years. Are you dancing? I was dancing? showing you guys my, my shoes, my slip ons Oh, I thought you were doing the river dance. <laughs> yeah, I've been restringing guitars. I could tune that thing up without a, 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 a I guess a electric tuner or whatever. What the heck? I've never seen that done before where they wrap the foam 
Hit a ball. 48 volt 16A. Hmm. I wonder if it's a 16 amp controller. It says that on the sticker there. I don't know. I haven't uh, found like any uh, information on, on the controller in it, but it did say 48 volt 16A. So I don't, I don't know. That might be the, what the controller's in there. Maybe I can see it though. We'll see. Loon said, Shreddy, those rooms would look cool on the Suron. I know. I, I've actually never seen a Suron with like mag rims. That'd be kind of cool. Emilio said, wow. Philly in a building, the mag wheels will always stay true. Right? You don't have to worry about messing with those ever. Matt said, I just noticed the skeleton, LOL. Yeah, he's... <laughs> That's the audience. That's dead shred. Yeah, cleaning this up afterwards is no fun. Jim Jones, what's up, Shreddy? What's up, Jim Jones? How you doing, brother? What is... What's today? Tuesday? The beautiful rainy Tuesday. I Josh, didn't get to practice wheelies today. Josh Maddox. Hey, Shreddy. How are you, buddy? What's up, Josh? How are you doing, brother? Trying to get this bike un... I guess, uh... C-dubs Unbox here. Is this the cheapest bike you've unboxed? I think this one's like $9.29 on... Oh, that's a good design. $9.29 on, on Amazon. This bike is under $1,000, so it is like the best affordable... Unless a Jason is, is cheaper than that. I'll have, to, I'll have to look that one up. Yeah, but the Jason doesn't have fat tires. And also, this one has hydraulic disc brakes as opposed to the mechanicals. Yeah, so this has a lot of good features all in one for a really good price. Yep, under one thousand. Ow! <laughs> I just. I'm all right, guys. Yeah, a I, journey full of excitement. I didn't even know they made fat tire foldable e-bikes. Um, just so you guys know, you don't want to touch the charging port with metal objects. <laughs> it's a really bad idea. How does that come out? Unless that's not attached yet. Oh yeah. There's some crazy stuff going on. <laughs> With this packaging. Oh, up corner. We love you, Shreddy. We love you too. Who was that? Who was that? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't hear. Dubs corner. Hey. Jim Jones, cool brother. Amelia, nice bike, Shreddy. Thank, thank you. Oh no, these are mechanical disc brakes. I thought these were hydraulics. No, yeah, front and rear mechanical disc brakes. It is the EP2 Pro, yeah. It's like, did I unbox the wrong bike? Okay, so that's the seat. We got the handlebars. So for everyone just joining, can you tell them what the bike is again? So this is the Engway EP2 Pro folding electric bike. And uh, we actually just found out that it doesn't have uh, hydraulic disc brakes, so it's mechanical uh, disc brakes on there, but we're, we're still gonna see what the stopping power is on that bad boy. There we go. That's cool, comes with the rear rack. I wonder if I should get the JC on and like stand them next to each other when I get this built. We'll see, we'll see what happens. He's like, no, I'm tired. <laughs> it's nice that the um, kickstand's already on. Yeah. That's a first. Hey, don't have to worry about that. That's cool. I'm looking for more, looking for more stuff to cut. Runaway Electric, you hear about the Cork Motors Roadrunner Pro 1000 watt. Each wheel should be out by summer. No, not yet, but I just saw that they released some kind of like one wheel competitor with like a better motor, more batteries and stuff. No way. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know when it's gonna come out. I can't wait to see video on that to see what, uh, what it's all about and how it performs. Bigger motor, we'll see. Philip Sandoval, sending, what's up, Philip? Sending you both huge what's up from District Nomad. Hey, what's going on? Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you. Oh, it's got keys. You guys are in DC. Eddie has to make it down for a yeah, ride. Yeah, very soon. Very soon. All right, I guess you guys don't do any winter rides. We keep it. We keep it riding in the winter if you guys uh, ever want to come down. Runaway Electric said, "Sorry, borrow motors he meant." Oh, okay. I'll have to check Varo that out. Varo Motors Roadrunner Pro 1000 watt. I, I know who Varo Motors is. I'll definitely have to check that out. I'm guessing the spell keep... check changes the quirk. <laughs> the spell check always changes like random things. It's got like front and rear tail light or tail light, front headlight. If I'm gonna cut that out. The logo looks really good. Looks cool. There you go. Oh yeah. I was like, where's all the, all the stuff? Did they send tools? Yeah. 
Let's see what they got. Hold on, let me let me keep uh, getting everything undone here. <laughs> this has got to be the seat post right? or the I handlebar. The handlebar. Yeah, definitely the handlebar, but I don't understand like how it's supposed to go in here. Struggling with Shreddy. Once I get this out of the way. Let's see. We totally uh, unsnipped. Like one more. Any questions? Josh Maddox, comments? that's a good deal for that fat tire folder. Yeah, my not first, bad. Yeah, my first e-bike was a 1,000 watt fat tire folder. BPM SS15. Check it out, bro. Unknown gem. Awesome. I I'll check it out for sure. I put over 5,000 miles on it. It just keeps going. Damn, that's awesome. Holy crap. What's awesome about these bikes, it's pretty easy to add like a second battery to them. Now that we even have a rack on there, like that should definitely be pretty easy. Should be the front fender. Is it? Okay. I was wondering if it was one of those quick releases. You guys stay tuned also, make sure you're following Shreddy on Instagram because you have a giveaway coming up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and we got we have a zero unboxing we should do. We should probably do that tonight since yeah, we, no, when should we do it? When do you want to do it? We got, I don't know. Do you want the zero uh, giveaway with, I don't even know what she got. I did not get an electric motorcycle. She did not win a zero. <laughs> but I won some merch. That would have been amazing so though. we'll see what they sent. We'll do it another night. But um, so tell them about your giveaway. So the giveaway is from Suron uh, USA Canada. They actually sent us a bunch of like Suron merch. Should I open that live or should I do that <laughs> on a Instagram live? I don't know. All right, so make sure you guys are following him on Instagram for when he posts about that giveaway so you can enter to win. His Instagram is also Shreddy McPate. They give you a little thing and tell you left pedal, turn left to tighten. Right pedal, turn right to tighten. Instructions. Should I keep them out just in case? In case I start really, really struggling? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, here's tools. This is fantastico. Oh, I got pulled over by the cops on the sur on the other day. But I think they were looking for somebody. Not just once. Twice, twi tw twice in one day. But the set, it was the Sur on the first time, and then the Super the second time. So the the first time I was coming out of Surf Bagel, of course, grabbing some uh, bagels for breakfast. Um, I'm like practicing wheelies in the Ace Hardware parking lot. That's like uh, closed down. Like they're gonna tear it down. I see the cop like slow down, and then like I see him stop, and he backs up. I'm like, oh man, and like I'm still do popping wheelies, messing around. He's like, yo, can you come here for a second? I'm like, yo, what's up, dude? He's like, what's your name? I'm like, my name is Shreddy McSkate. He's like, can you pull down your mask? Because I had like, a, I had this up or whatever, because it was kind of chilly. I was like, sure, man. And I was like, yeah, man, I'm just a local influencer. Here's, I'm Shreddy McSkate. Scan this and uh, you'll get like all my channels or whatever. <laughs> so he, he took a picture of my QR code. So that was kind of cool. But then he goes in a car and then I proceed to keep practicing wheelies in the Ace Hardware parking lot. There's people eating in their cars at the, uh, sorry, at the surf bagel. And they're just like looking at me laughing. They're probably like, holy crap, what the heck is this guy doing? Doing wheelies on his dirt bike in front of cops. So he gets out of the car and he's like, you're good to go. I'm like, really? <laughs> so then uh, I go home, end up grabbing the super, start practicing wheelies, go back to the, to the parking lot where I like going. Next thing you know, another state cop pulls up next to me. He's like, Hey, is your name, what did he say my name was? Jake or Jack or something like that. Is your, hey, what's up, Jake? Are you Jake? I'm like, no. I'm like, you just stopped me, dude. I'm like, what the hell? He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm Shreddy McSkate. Check out my YouTube channel. I'm like, check it out right now on your phone. He's like, okay, cool. And then he took off. I was like, all right. So that was my uh, experience with the Delaware State Police for in one day. <laughs> Which was they're pretty like funny. Not like, that, they're not allowed to pull you over for no reason like that. I didn't give them like my ID or anything. or I just told him my name. I was like, dude, I, I live around here. Relax. I really you thought he was going to... Your gonna name was Shreddy McSkate. 
Mcskate? Yeah, I was like, my name is Shreddy Mcskate. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hold on, I don't know if I should stand it like up sort of to, or flip it upside down, get the, get the front wheel on first. What do you guys think? Should I stand it up, get the pedals and handlebars, then the wheel last? I don't know. Which we'll thing see. do, guys? We'll keep doing this. Leave your comments below. There's probably a, uh, an instruction manual right here with the instructions on the exact steps how to do it. I'll take like three seconds very quick to just... So you said flip it upside down or what? Or stand it like up and put the kickstand down and put the handlebars and uh, seat on. I mean, I would flip it upside Let's down. See. What do you guys think? That goes forward. I wonder if the kickstand will work since it doesn't have the foot. Nope. Josh Maddox, I ride the BPM just as much as my Theron and my Onyx. Fat tire folders are underrated. Dude, people like to beef these guys up too, man. Uh, friend threw a, what, 2,000 watt motor in it, and then I think Paltimo's got like a 1,500. Uh, and folding bikes are I don't know nice if James Titan's in here. Um, oh. You don't have like a bike rack to carry any bike. Just throw it in your trunk. What the heck? That looks kind of weird. Zipper apartment. Josh Maddox, hell yeah, sir. On. He said, I just I got think it was high. my Onyx. Did you really? How fast were you going? Luckily, I was just practicing wheelies. He didn't, he didn't see how fast I was. <laughs> so, looks like there's going to be like some kind of like. Runaway Electric said, I go seat, bar, wheel. Seat, bar, and then wheel. Okay. Because it's looking like I got to like take that. Okay. And then tighten that down. There's like a little. Okay. It's yeah. fun figuring it out. Like, I don't like cheating and looking at the. It's like cheating on a video game if you look at the instruction manual. <laughs> Justin Stevens said, throw the instructions in the trash. Yes. It's written in Chinese anyways. Josh, I don't he always needs to read instructions first, and he never does. <laughs> it's a man you thing. You guys should all read the instructions. <laughs> uh, okay. Billy in the building. I would flip it upside down. That's what I said. Install the front tire, and then install everything else. Yeah, it would, it would be easier, right, to just do that. But now I got it like this, so... Might as well finish it this way, and then next bike, we'll, we'll flip it. <laughs> All right, so, seat posts. Undo that. I love the matte black and how the tires are all black. Looks That's, cool. It can fit a tall person for a show. Yeah. Well, at least, at least has to be that, that low. <laughs> it can fit like a circus person. Shaquille O'Neal may be able really to sit on this bike. Like, the seat actually feels comfortable. It's nice and squishy. Might not be a super That's biscuit good. burner. Although I do like, since this doesn't have the rear suspension, always get the suspension seat post. I always think that's a good upgrade that you should. The seat does look cushy from here. Definitely have, yeah. It's got like a little bit of the spring in the back, but I don't know. I feel like. You have to test it out. Yeah, I feel like you gotta get a suspension seat post. For the biscuits. It's got like moped uh, pedals. What the heck? Okay. All right, this is the instruction manual. <laughs> Throw it out. And what is that? Have you figured so, it out yet? I don't know if it faces forward. I'm guessing this is forward because that folds down like that. All right, guys, you know which way this again? Or does it fold down? I think it folds down to the side, but I don't know which side. What is or does that called? Or does it? Should I look at the instruction what is that? manual? Yeah, do you want me to throw it back to you? This is for the handlebars. Should we throw in the instruction manual? <laughs> There's no way it would fold like that. I feel like all, all folding e-bikes, it folds. Does it fold to the left? Or does it fold to the right? Oh, hold on. Let's look at that. So that would fold in. And this would have to fold this way. It's okay, I think. I may have it. <laughs> Hold on. If we, do, if we do it wrong, we're just gonna have to redo it. We're just gonna have to redo it. 
And I don't even know how many Newton meters that should be. <laughs> that should felt pretty tight for uh, the meters? little, like how tight it should be. Definitely sounds like, like some e like science. e like science. Josh Maddox, four tickets, no registration, insurance, speeding, and some other BS. Are you serious? I was only going 35 and 25. Hold on, oh. where, do you, where do you live again? Where do you live? Oh, South Jersey. What? Wow. So what now? Like you can are are they saying that you can't ride it? Top said he doesn't even know what he's looking at. Dude, what? All got thrown out in court. Oh, good, good. But th that just sucks that you had to deal with that. Like, how dumb is that? Like, dude, that you got a, you, uh, you got pedals, but he had top. yeah, <laughs> he's being a jerk. People are just like mad. They see people on bikes. And they're like, oh my god, someone's having fun. Yeah, usually anything that's fun, the government's gonna, always going to try to regulate. Hey, you're having fun. You better pay for it. And yeah. the Onyx has pedals, right? So it's like considered an e-bike. Hold on. I still feel like it, that looks weird. Because it's kind of like tilted. Is it? Hold on. So you went to court to fight it instead of Let just Let me just like, look at a picture of the freaking bike. the tickets or you had to go to court? I don't know how that works. <laughs> yeah, because the one time when I remember when I, saw, when I went to uh, Super 73, the guy um, sold his Onyx to buy an RX because he got pulled over and got a ticket on his uh, Onyx. Oh, in California. Yep. It's usually just like California, New York. Billy in the building. Yeah, that matte black is sick as hell. That's one of the reasons that I love it on my C3. Yes, I love matte black. Looks like it's on the front. Skeleton and Shreddy just got this matte black helmet, too. Come on, you, you uh, <laughs> folding e-bike lovers. How does it go? Oh, you're still looking at this thing, this post? Yeah, I'm trying to see which way it goes. I don't think it does go that way because, like, it's leaning a little bit that way. I, I thought it folded like that, and then the you bike folds like that. which way does it go? Instructions. Drop your comments below. Which way does the post which go? Which way does it go? It looks like it's in the front. The quick release is in the front, but I don't think, I feel like I've never seen the, the handlebars fold to the front before. We're gonna go with the front. You follow the instructions? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna follow the picture. <laughs> you guys know that, right? You look at the picture, you don't, what instructions? Hold on, it's saying that it should be like that, the picture. At least. Can you guys look up the EP2 Pro and look sense. up pictures? I think when it went to the side, it was like weird. Runaway Electric. Jersey Cops got me a whole bunch of times on all different e bikes, e motorcycles. Really? I think they're just jealous that we have fun. Damn, Jersey Cops sound like they kind of. They kind of suck. Is that on bike trails or the road that they're pulling you over? Side of the road? That looks. That looks all right, I don't know. Oh, but yeah, then this isn't straight. The cop that pulled over Eddie yesterday was asking if he was riding on the sidewalk. Okay. I guess you're not allowed to. So I'm thinking this has to be at sort of an angle because this thing doesn't turn. And this is the handlebar uh, clamp. So we're going to loosen it up again and turn it just a slight bit. It's fun learning uh, on your own. <laughs> Loon said it's crazy because there's a lot of worse things that people could be doing and all they're trying to do is explore outside. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yep. So come on, let's Mike us... Morgan folds towards the seat. So you're finally right, Shreddy. Thank you, Mike. I think it is like at an angle though, because look. Boom. Cause look how the handle like the mount is like this, and there's no way to turn that after I tighten down here. So I think it's like at a slight, slight angle. We're gonna try it like that. Don't drop that. Why would it be straight towards the seat? I don't know, we'll see. Once I get that the handlebar mounted. Alan Schmidt said, string beam next up, first thing to mod. There we go. All right, we're gonna go up here. You got it? Yeah, I think so. I need my little like clippies. Said, yep. My little clippies, what's that? Mitt said, string being next, next up, first thing to mod, and Mike Morgan said, yep. 
So that's called a string bean neck. String <laughs> bean neck. Josh Maddox, I got Wee. the ticket. And told the cops if they bite. He told me I'm lucky he's not towing it. What? So really? I pedaled it up onto the sidewalk the moment he rode away. Went to court and fought it. All of it was thrown out. Dude, that is insane. We're like not allowed to ride bikes on the sidewalk here, and I just think it makes no sense. I ride my bike. No, it totally makes sense. <laughs> oh god, Eddie needs to eat bike walls. <laughs> what do you guys think? I don't want to be running people over on the sidewalk. Because you're going like up, up to at least 15 miles an hour pedaling a regular bike, let alone an e-bike. I just feel safer on the sidewalk than I do like a busy road. Like how some people like going against traffic when they're riding the bikes. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh, yeah, Mike Morgan said, yeah, off to one side slightly. So you did it right. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel like there's still going to be some adjusting I'm going to have to do, but these with the these. Philly in the building. Cops don't care about e-bikes on the road. I guess it really depends on where you are or what bike you're really, well, that's got to have to start. you're encountering. Yeah, man, like, that's so crazy. I can't believe that. Earl Buckley, I'm thinking about buying the Lear Graffiti. What are your thoughts? I actually love the prototype that I've, I, I, read, I rode. Um... I really can't wait to see the finished product and see how it handles. I know it has a different display now. There, there are a few changes from the bike that I rode to the new one. But we'll see. We'll see. I can't wait to get one and actually do a full, full review on it. Earl Buckley, did you see um, Shreddy's Lyric Graffiti first ride and review video? It was really good. I loved it. I actually met the owners when I went down to the Electrify Expo. That was a lot of fun hanging out with them. I got to try the, the uh, Voodoo Ghost on their little racetrack for the actual electric cars, which was kind of neat. <laughs> and he has a video with the Voodoo Ghost, just the first look at that as well. What is your discount code for Lyric? Use code, you can still use code SHREDDY300, but it's not for $300 off. And, um, no, your new code is just Shreddy. You can, yeah, you can use code Shreddy now, or you can also still use code Shreddy 300 and it's because it's on that video still, and you know. It's for $100 off. Yes. So if you use Shreddy's code, and I would suggest like using his link, the code might automatically apply when you use his link. It'll save you $100 off the Lyric Graffiti or Voodoo. That is correct. So make sure you check out that video. It was an awesome video. That was actually my favorite video, the Lyric Graffiti. And it was yeah, fun, like, Eddie way. said the Lyric Graffiti had, like, tons of, what, torque, like, getting up hills. Mm -hmm. He rode it on the sand, on the beach, like, all terrain, off-road. Like, he loved it. Like, you said it went, like, as fast as the Arrow Rider, right? Like going What about, I can't remember how fast I went on the review, like, 30? 30... 35? Maybe 36. Seven or thirty-eight, so about as fast as the Grizzly, yeah, definitely. And it had like the same pickup as the Grizzly. It was, like, all <laughs> Maybe a little more. We're, uh, we're gonna have to race. Oh, we're gonna have to do a race. Yeah, that'd be cool. That feels good for now. Runaway Electric. I think I'm gonna stay away for me motorcycles went 45 miles an hour into a car on my dead end street. Glad to be alive. Went about 25 foot, so sticking to e-bikes from here on out. Holy freaking crap. I'm glad you're still here with us. Yeah, Shreddy, I'm always scared of crash. Yeah, Shreddy used to have um, motorcycle and he said like he was definitely I'm doing this unevenly. Like, car a few times, like riding on the road. Well, head on, almost by a tractor trailer. Somehow he veered right into my lane. So I kept my license, or I still have my, my motorcycle license. I kept, I kept my motorcycle for like a few years, and I don't know, after riding on the road with people, it was kind of crazy. Wow. Even Run though I'm still riding on the road with people. Runaway Electric <laughs> said, well, they hit me. Glad to be alive, and legs didn't get damaged. Jesus. Wow. Are you okay? Yeah, you're lucky you didn't hurt your leg. And that you're okay. <laughs> Earl Buckley, I sure did. Nice. Oh, good. Yeah, he checked out your video on the Lyric Graffiti. Nice. 
trying to get this down even because on both sides, like one was like squished and the other one's like more open. So it's only like two, two, uh, if you guys want me to zoom in or like bolts. go over there so you can see what he's doing more, just let me know. Eddie, what are you doing? I'm just tight getting the handlebars on. I got to tighten that a lot. So when you do it, just make sure you do it evenly. I kind of over tightened the front and then went to the back and then loosened everything and then re redid everything. And then right now I'm noticing like a little bit of, of play there, but I think it's this. Much better. Now it's locked out. It's cool. Just make sure uh, everything folds down. That's right? crazy that even that folds. I thought the bikes just folded in half. Yeah, the whole thing. All right. That's cool. I don't know if there's like a way to tighten that, but it, it feels pretty solid to me. All right, so we're going to give it a little flip, get the tire, get the fender on. I'm not sure if the fender goes on first. Some bikes you have to do that, but we're going to see. Oh, headlight, tail light go on, pedals. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, rear rack. That'd be cool. Yeah, I like that. Probably goes, no screws. Yep. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that as the ender, the ender. Boone said, Shreddy, check out my passenger pegs for my Suron. If you get one, you can put Z on the back. <laughs> and I don't know if Z's going to do that. Oh my God, why did I just squeeze the brakes? It's not the same as or, uh, hydraulics, right? Yeah, yeah. It goes back. Phew, I was thinking I just squeezed the brakes like an idiot. But we're good, guys. We're good. All right, so flip a Rooney. Why? What would happen if you squeeze the brakes? The calipers would stay closed. And then you got to get in there and open them up again. Not fun. Okay, I, I see that my uh, handlebars aren't too straight, but we're good. Remember, I said I was definitely going to have to redo that. There's something hanging off the front. Uh, headlight and tail light. Can I hold it with one arm? Oh, no heavy. I want to say it weighs like 60 pounds. 50? 60 pounds? Oh, 50 pounds? That's not bad. That's light. But then you can take the battery out, so it'll be a little bit lighter. No bad at all. What do you guys want to see next? The wheel or the pedals? For those of you just joining, this is the Engway. Engway EP2 Pro e-bike. If you guys are interested, just check out that link down below. I do have a link for Amazon to get this. It's about $930 for this e-bike. Affordable e-bike under one thousand dollars. I might have to mess with the with the gears. Fat tire foldable. I need to take another uh, school and getting these down. I need to go to Lewis Cycle Sports. He did he did a little uh, class with me one day and then I did it. And I totally forget how you do that again. I know you got to go through like all the gears and mess with this little barrel thing. The link is in the description for the bike for anyone interested. And if you guys aren't interested in this bike, I have a ton of other uh, e-bike discount links down below. There might be a bike you like. Fo show. All right, we'll do that next. Just make sure it's gonna stay. Runaway Electric, that Electro Expo vid with Dylan was a great video. Love to see your point of view. My POV is coming out. Yeah, we, we definitely had a lot of fun hanging out, me and Dylan. For sure, we had a blast. He came, hung out at a hotel with me a few times. Went out, walked the city, got some dinners. I think the last vlog with him is kind of going to be like a, a walking around Austin vlog where we went to go see Kill Tony. That was a lot of fun, man. For my first comedy show, the Kill Tony. What? Have you guys watched the Kill Tony show? If Brian Redband's watching right now, thank you so much for that, man. That was one of the best experiences of my life. There we go. So yeah, if you guys, I'm sure you guys follow along, but so Shreddy, like two weeks ago, went to the Suron Mega Ride in Houston, Texas, and Ooh. then he went to the Electrify Expo in Austin, Texas. We did lots of traveling and it was fun. Some Suron Mega Ride videos are out. Be sure to check that out. Yep. 
Eddie, what's that video called? I forget the Sarah Mega Ride, the huge <laughs> Mega Ride. I don't know. I haven't before. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for it to get freaking uh, back to monetize. For some reason, it's taken forever to monetize. That I was wanting to make some fun shorts out of it. Yeah, he has to edit it too, and YouTube's like not letting him. If anyone knows how to, it's the first video YouTube hasn't monetized, and he needs to edit like some words out of it. If any of you guys know how to do that or yeah. how to contact YouTube, let us know. I messed up and I left a, uh, I was going to put up some words, but it was like, it says enter, enter title here and you have to get in there to edit it. I left that up <laughs> for some reason and I want to get in there and delete it. And he wants to make like shorts from it and he can't because yep. YouTube's having a glitch. I think the same thing's like happening with, um, ooh, I got to straighten those suckers out. I hope the rotors aren't bent. And then um, he has the Electrify Expo video coming out soon video or videos soon this week rotor looks all right yeah i can't wait to see the bikes and like the crazy stuff we tried electric expo I, I tried a volvo i tried a little jack rabbit bike i tried like a bucket i got in the bucket with, with dylan uh, that's my perspective is going to come out pretty soon on that one um what else did i try d you guys saw like people i tried crashing. the new zoos i tried the new updated zoos definitely feels a little more powerful a little more comfortable uh, who else? Who else? What else? Um, oh, that's where you saw Lyric too. Left, left, left is upside down. Yep. So Lyric, uh, uh, Rayvolt, hung out with Rayvolt a little bit. Who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, sh Shy Battery, not Chai, chai Battery. battery. Shy, guys, shy Battery Systems. If the, the Shy Battery Systems is from Chicago. How do you think you say it? Chai battery systems or chai battery Chicago, systems? Chicago, right? Leave your comments below. Chicago. Chicago. All right. We're getting closer. Is it, does that always take me at least an hour to build a bike? Like if I'm not like super duper struggling? Yeah. CD read in the comments. I'm just reading comments. Are you uh, uh, reading some funny wondering ones? Stort wrote, Sky 2 Wondering, Stort 44. <laughs> Hi, Stort. Errol Buckley, thank you for your input. What's up? What's up? What's up? Math Mechanic, Allison made apple pie. Crisps. Crisps? So good. Yummy. Sounds good. You guys know I love treats. I love treats. Treats are good. There we go. I got the pedals on. Building I got a street now. The bike you're putting together kind of reminds me of the, uh, the electric XP a little bit. Yes, it does. It does, yeah. I actually wrote that in the description and then I took it out. I was going to say, let's see how it compares to electric XP. Oh, I wonder if I, when I pull out the battery, I can see the controller. It looks cool. So it might be, might be a 16 amp controller. 750 watt motor. I think it peaks at 900 and... It was like a crazy number, like a weird number. Like 925.2 watts. Let us know. Check it. Go and check right now. So yeah, 960 watt peak, three riding modes. It's a foldable bike with three easy steps. Uh, seven speed, 40 volt, 13 amp hour battery. Uh, 20 by four tires, of course. And they say 74.5 miles per charge is their estimate, but I'm sure that's in Mode one with you pedaling your buttocks off or your biscuits. It says range is 35% longer than other, others. Headlight, tail light. That's right. I heard it has an upgraded battery for longer range and it's powerful. Well, it's only a 13 amp hour battery, but for something like, like with something like a bike like this, you're going to be pedaling it a lot more than throttling it. But Apparently it's upgraded from its previous version to have a longer lasting battery. We're going to give it a little flip up. I'm going to bring it back a little bit though. So I could stand up without hitting the, the couch. Josh Maddox, there's a ring on the handlebar stem you can twist into place to lock at the lever if you didn't notice that shreddy. I did not. I did not. I'll check it out. Okay, we'll check that out now. I won't hit the, the couch. Oh, yeah, There's that. a light. <laughs> Not put on in the back. So there, oh my god, that's way too high. <laughs> Let me just sit here for now. 
All right, there's a tw something twist at the, oh yeah, there's something right here. Yes, I do see that. Do I gotta bring that, did he say bring it down or? Um, ring, there's a ring on the handlebar stem you can twist into place to lock at the lever. Oh, I see what you mean, it's a little plastic thing. Turn it out this, ah, oh, thank you so much for that. Let me, uh, let me give this bike a little, oh my God. <laughs> gotta lock it out, gotta lock it out. So there's this little plastic thing, it looks like. And there's a little hole right there. And you push that right in there and that locks it in. That's awesome, thank you for that, I appreciate that. And then you push it, I guess you push it out like that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Oh, look, it's got like a little handle right here that makes oh, it cool. easy to grab. I didn't even notice that. Like, you can grab it like that. That's cool. Heck yeah. All right. That's, that's freaking awesome. I do like the body on it. It looks cool. Yeah. Let me straighten out the handlebar a little bit because it is definitely crooked. Matt the Mechanic, I used to have a bike like that called the E-Joe. E-Joe. <laughs> Electric Joe. Yo, E-Joe. Mike Morgan, steel or aluminum frame? Oh, my, my, it feels like aluminum. This feels really like thin to me right here. It feels almost plasticky. It sounds solid. That's why I was like hitting it earlier. I was like, hmm. That's good because it's lightweight. Okay, so. Yeah, Josh said aluminum. With Tim Dillon, nonetheless. Doop. Last night, well, Dillon saw Pill Tony with Tim Dillon. Who was the guest when you went, Shreddy? Oh, crap. It was, uh, I forget his name. Hold on. Oh, Steve O was there. He was there. Steve -O. It was the one where Steve O was at. There were a few people there. I, I did see a picture of Joe Rogan, Chris Rock. And somebody else there. But I don't know if it was the same place. They might have been across the street from. Because he didn't see them and he was like there. But then at the, um, I got invited to the, the secret show too. I forgot to say that. Um, that's the one. Oh no, I went to the secret show with, with Dylan. I went to the uh, Kill Tony show by myself, right? Yeah. Yeah. He actually sat me next to uh, some like big time. Red band sat me next to. TikToker, yeah. Some big time TikToker. He had like 2 million followers on there. <clears throat> For food, right? Yeah, he was like a food, food dude. Not a food vlogger, but he did like those quick things of making like some quick awesome meals. All right, I feel like that's pretty straight, pretty straight. Okay, fender, and then lights, and then the ender. Josh okay. said the Burrow. Oh, the Burrow Max. That was fun to ride. I'll have to uh, see if maybe we can get one of those for the channel. Wait, you rode that electric bike though? Yeah, the Burrow Max, the smaller one and the big one. Them things were crazy. That's actually the one that uh, some dude crashed into some girl that was on the, the Vulcan, Vulcan, whatever, the big fat tires. Dude crashed into her and then like at the same time some little girl crashed. Like in front of them, I it was don't crazy understand timing. why there are so many crashes at these electrified expos. Like it's I don't get it. They're letting anybody, anybody ride them. I mean, what are they just like full <laughs> force, like, and they're just losing control? It's going hard, yeah. Let's get this headlight in there. Or oh, actually, hold on. Headlight probably goes with the fender at the same time, so let's remember that. Excuse me, like it's usually how it is. <laughs> Runaway Electric said, seems like you were on the Burramax bikes. You were having a lot of fun. Yeah, it was definitely, definitely a blast. I almost bought one, but the TT6100 is like 2000 Hold on. Does this go? Heck no, it's good. Well, maybe you try to get a discount code from them for you guys. We'll see. They're not like too big yet, though. They're not like a super huge company. All right, how's it put the fender on, you guys? It definitely goes back here this way, for sure. It goes on the tire? It looks like it's well, on not the on the tire. Come on. Come on. Come on. It looks come like you're putting it on the tire. Come here. And then the light. Green. Hello. We have reviewed a few bikes, but not this one. What's up? How you doing? Welcome to the channel. 
Thank you, thank you for joining. John W., your tree means no cats, right? The what? Your tree means no cats. Actually, I've had a cat my whole life except this year, and we've always had a tree. I mean, a few times when they were like little, they climbed up the middle of it. But um, <laughs> this one's like. Do you guys like, like the tree? Ones, or is it? So they're probably like get electrocuted. Is it okay? <laughs> it's like wires going through the thing. Full time dream. I like the rims. Don't have to constantly yeah, no. adjust spokes. Oh yeah, there's no spokes. That's nice. Dude, I thought spokes I had the right up. one. Eddie, did you hear them? Say that again? He's in full focus mode. <laughs> Sorry. Um, full time dream said I like the rims. Don't have to constantly adjust the spokes. Yes, because of the mags. Yep. So that's the first time I've ever had something like this on a channel. Or rims like this on the, the channel. That is nice because spokes do get messed up. Dude, for some reason it feels like that. That's not the right time. Oh, we have some new people joining. Oh, Gibdo, what's up, Shreddy? Gibdo, what's up? 50s cap, what's up, Dean and Shreddy? The struggle there, continues. Yeah. Still <laughs> struggling, still struggling. Eddie, for those that are just joining. What is this, Dee Dee? <laughs> All I know is Engway. What's the rest? Engway EP2 Pro Electric Bike. It is a fat tire foldable. Folding e-bike, 750 watt motor with a 960 watt peak. It's got headlight, tail light, front and rear fender. It's got a rear rack. And the best uh, feature is under $1,000. How much is it? Uh, I don't know. $930. I'll have, have to check out your, his link is in the description if you guys want to check it out. It's yeah, $930 right now. Pretty sure right on Amazon.com. I should have named this, I bought the cheapest bike on Amazon and blew it up. <laughs> Josh Maddox, how rude of me. Hello, D. How are you? <laughs> hey, guys. That's okay. I'm behind the camera. Do you guys want her to get on a bike? She said she's going to get on it. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Shreddy Bones. <laughs> He's just filming a vlog over there. <laughs> so this bike looks adjustable. Like, it's good, like, short or tall riders because the seat goes really high. Seat goes mad high, like crazy high. Gibdo, what did you eat tonight, Shreddy and D? Anything good? Yes. yes. Um, I had my that? leftover nachos. <laughs> Before we ate, you did. Um, we had um, like sriracha, honey, garlic, salmon with rice, avocado, plantains, and then I sprinkle it with, um, oh, and we have um, asparagus with it too. And I sprinkle it with um, everything but legal oh seasoning. Oh my God. It's good. Whew, I thought I stripped it, but I actually broke the. I broke it. I, I was actually just saying we should, to Eddie, we should start another channel, because I want to like show everyone that recipe, and then he makes these really good cookies. Then we got to do twice the work. He makes um, what are your favorite cookies? He always polvorones makes? de Puerto Rico. Puerto Rican cookies that are guava that have guava jelly and almond extract. So good. Maybe I'll start making them for the channel and selling them. <laughs> Shreddy's cookies. If you eat these cookies, you'll learn how to wheelie in no yeah, time. Yeah, 50s cap. When you get done assembling, grab the guitar, guitar and do a Christmas shred. I'm sorry. It's got a broken string. I'm sorry. Give the, was Shreddy, that Gibdo? You have to fix it and then seriously, at the end of his next live, I'm going to make Should I learn like Christmas jingles yeah. for you guys? You probably already know them. John Campana, I just bought one, love it, but not as nice as a full-size fat tire bike. But it's nice having a, the portability though, right? Is that, is that why you chose a folding? Yeah. I would like a folding Good for bike camping to and put stuff. it in the trunk and take it with us easier <laughs> and store it easier. Doesn't take up as much space. I feel like I still need to tighten that. I up. only have a regular bike rack, so all of Shreddy's e-bikes don't fit on it. So <laughs> foldable yeah. bikes all we can take places. Yeah, or scooters. 
Actually, should should be selling some of uh, these scooters here soon. If you guys are looking for scooters, check out the channel. Let me know which one you want. Loon, shreddy, man, I can't wait till spring to get the bike out more often. Dude, get out there. I've been riding every single day, every night. Every night I go out there and practice my wheelies. I just, I just got to get good at them. Yeah, he just did the um, Rehoboth Beach Christmas Parade last night. I did wheelies at that too with flat tire. It was awesome. Can't believe I got a flat tire. But like I said earlier, like I pumped it up and now it's holding. It's holding. I got a tire sealant in it. I'm guessing maybe when I was riding it, it knocked itself loose or I don't know what happened. I got to try out uh, Philly in the building C3 Strom. I tried out a uh, Solaria Sting. Did you get any of that on camera? Like, can you do a little video? I did. I did. It's just a little bit. Just trying it up and down the street. Not nothing like too crazy long. Like anything uh, like a super review or anything. Loon said yes. Extra channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys want to? What wanna... should we call it? Shreddy eating channel. All right, where's this go? You just said that sounds gourmet and AF. That's fuck. Save me a plate. It was really, really good. Yeah, it's good. If you guys are around, we can save your plate. Okay. I'm gonna try it. Uh, right, finally, the light, because you almost put the. I'm thinking we got to do the discos on this. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. Like nuts and screws and stuff? Oh, they're already on the bike. That's right. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yep, four of them. Josh Maddox, I dig a second channel. You guys really would like to see a cooking channel by us? <laughs> we're making everyone hungry. I feel like we need these recipes. No, we're always like going out to like good restaurants too. Give this says, salt tang with shreddy and D would get an easy sub out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. Salt tang with shreddy and D. Josh said, I just want to play that guitar in the background while watching. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to get it fixed. I, look, those are literally like new strings or for, for some reason. I never break strings all, and all of a sudden I broke darn strings. I usually never ever break strings. So you'll probably be doing another unboxing this week too. It's so a rarity. Get, get the strings and then play some music. That one seems on the next longer. Live. What song do you guys want to hear him sing? Same length. La Bamba. Philip Santoval said Shreddy McBake. <laughs> <laughs> Shreddy McBake yeah. and Shreddy McBaked. Give to Shreddy McBake easy clap, lol. 50s cap, those heavy fat tires contradict foldable convenience. But they're so cool. I think it's kind of cool because it's like a whole bunch of features in one. Ooh. Kind of makes it like a mountain bike, but all for the low price under $1,000. Squishy seat, nice and squishy. All right, one, two, three, and then the four. Man, that one's in there tight. John Campana said the only difference between the full size fat tire bike is at high speeds, it's more stable. The bigger bike, that's it. Okay, more like higher speeds, more stability. Like if you're really trying to go fast, go over some hills and stuff. I know somebody who makes one of these go about 40 something. <laughs> I don't think he's uh, in the chat just yet, Mr. Paltima. dream these folding e-bikes are great for our rv they fit so well and we can take them totally anywhere. totally totally yes they fit right under that in that little rv space and it's nice because they're bigger than the jetson e-bike that's what i see most rvers have are the jetson e-bikes and they're so small I yeah i wonder what, what the battery size is on those guys probably like i don't even know like a seven amp hour but this one's what 13 it says We'll see. I'm going to open it up and check it out. 50s cap. That shell bike you got to ride is my dream build. That shell bike is amazing. What's yeah. The shell bike? The, the, the Super 72 volt. Video. Two minute video I did. Super 72 volt. Oh, that you tried the Mega Ride? Yeah. Yeah, you can watch that this Mega Ride video, you guys. I trying to get this screw in. Loon said the channel should be called Eating with Shreddy and D. <laughs> well, Josh Maddox, I'm sinking further. Oh yeah, he already knows that song. That's him. <laughs> I actually just put that, I put that on this post on Instagram. I think those are the exact lyrics I put yep. with it. 
Because now Instagram has a feature where you can add music to the post. All right, let me not tighten it. Billy in the building. If you want, I'll let you do a full review on my C3 Strom whenever you have the time next time. Heck yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be awesome. I got to reach out to them, so if, if they'll give me a discount code for you guys on that. Gibdo, Shreddy and D's spectacularly scrumptiously delightful <laughs> dishes. <laughs> S&D, SSDD for eats. short. <laughs> Full-time dream. Depending on how much you pedal, the bike should go 20 miles or better on a charge. Are you going to do a speed range test on this? We're going to see. Speed test? We can do a full throttle. Somebody got mad at me. They're like, that's not normal riding. I'm like, I know, but that's like a good way to test. Like, you could overheat the controller. It's never happened to me in, uh, unless I'm riding in the sand dunes, but I love doing my full full throttle range tests. They're fun. Yeah, it's definitely a nice looking bike. Nice and tight. Let me, get, no, let me tighten up the other side. Left it loose just in case. Nice rack. I like it. Yeah, the rack looks really good. There we go. That was about uh, 15 Newton meters. So you're just checking all the nuts? Check your nuts. Always checking nuts, actually. Definitely. Pull these little rubber covers off. Check your nuts. Where's the bigger uh, nut checker? There we go. Did they not give me one that, that's the right size? 16, cats, 17. Your Ouija pillow sold out map. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Is it uh, talking to you? <laughs> it talked to you? You saw it move? I'm scared. I'm scared now. It's funny, we went to my Solid. brother's house last week and he had like a Ouija board in his living room. It was like... Like a real old one, a vintage. Those are a little more dangerous. Dangerous? What are you pillow. It's all the same uh, meaning, right? Okay. Russell's on her. It's in case the seance runs long. <laughs> Guys. We like seance. They didn't give me a... What do you need? Nuts. Extra Hold on. I, I got it. No, no, no. Maybe this doesn't go on there. I think. Oh, yeah. They're already in there. There's like this little plastic thing. I thought the plastic thing went on there like that. But I think this actually just goes in itself. This is fun. <laughs> maybe, maybe, no, actually maybe not because it's, no, 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 no. I'm gonna have to look for some nuts, guys. <laughs> Said you just the decor in Casa de Shreddy. <laughs> I did, guys. It's a little messed up right now. Yeah, I'm not allowed to. If, if like, it... I just want Eddie to hide this black cord. If any of you are local and know how to hide that, please come. We over. have the holes behind the wall. Those little things, top and bottom. I just gotta fish it through. <laughs> Trust me, crazy. It's not even that bad. And there's a, a whole bunch come of crap on. over here to the left. I tried decorating, but it just doesn't take too much. All right. And his charger. <laughs> Guys, I don't think they gave me nuts for that. Hmm. For the um, light, do you have extra nuts in the garage? I don't know. I figured they'd be like on here. Hold on, let me just look around. Like where, where all the tools came out of, there maybe should have been a nut on there. He's looking for extra nuts, you guys. I didn't check for nuts, but I always checked my nuts. Just checking with all the trash that I have to clean up later. Dude, come on. The last bike where we had a broken display, this one we're missing nuts. But you can just go get nuts from like Home Depot, right? Uh, yeah, I could probably get something that'll work. It's just a few screws. Hmm. Matt, do you have any extra nuts? Can you come here quick? <laughs> I'll just put it on like upside down. Oh, wait a minute. 
Yeah, full time dream. I like the color. Maybe also. it just goes like that. What color did you guys get? Hold on. I, I think I think this is it. I'm I'm messed up, guys. I thought so. Yeah, because they're already in there. They want you to put like a license. This is a license plate holder. This little plastic thing. I was confused. Was confused. So, yeah, you gotta put this through there. <laughs> Kim Joe looks lovely there, D. Looks like it smells like vanilla and almonds. <laughs> no smells here, actually. It actually smells like nothing, just fresh air. We can't be around like any scent. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we have problems with scents. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't someday soon, but we do right now. But for now, yes, we do. Um. Russell's Honor. Color doesn't matter as long as you get a tight looking wrap on it. I'll get a uh, zip tie and put it right there. People are doing enough e-bike wraps, man. What do you mean like e-bike uh, wraps would be cool. Yeah. Vinyl. You guys know I used to do that. That was my job before doing this. I used to wrap cars in vinyl for this business called Carver Ties. And they're actually nationwide. Um, they wrap your car in an advertisement and then they pay you a certain amount of money to keep the, the vinyl ad on there. And sometimes they pay you a little extra money to take your car places and leave it there. It's in all 50 states now, so they're probably familiar with it. Yep, nationwide. Have you guys seen like ads on cars around your state? That's the um, company there's, Eddie's friend. There's owns. a few companies that do it, but car retards, I think is like the main, main one. Josh Maddox said you can get a lot of Suron wraps. From where? Suron graphics? Does we coat it to wraps or they paint it? They all, they, they custom paint it. Yeah, if you guys. Um, I want that done to my bike. Did That'd you guys see we coat it in Shreddy's Mega Ride video? Yeah, the that Suron shop. Suron Mega Ride video, he went to we coat it. It was awesome. That shop is awesome. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check out that video. They do great work over there. So if you live in Houston and want to get your uh, Suron super awesomely modified, definitely check them out. You guys, drop like a thumbs up, like a like, if you watch the Suron Mega Ride video. Yeah, it didn't get pushed out too much, uh, but hopefully we can make some shorts out of it here soon. All right, what do you guys want me to do? Open this sucker up, see if I can get the battery out. Do I need uh, the keys to get the battery out? Maybe not. I think I have to have the keys to get the battery out, definitely. Let me see if I remember how to get these out. The floor is covered. Covered. Um, so when you fold one of these bikes, would you do that first? How would you guys fold this? Um, the handlebars and then fold it? That's so cool. Oh, we'll get the kickstand up, of course. The battery slides out and just slops on the ground. I guess you have to fold the handlebars first to make it shorter. Makes sense. Maybe it needs a kickstand up. I think it needs a kickstand up. I like my other, uh, the Jason that didn't need the kickstand up. It has, it looks like it has like a little. Yeah, it has this little, let me just get the kickstand up just in case. No, the kickstand can't go up. There's no way. There's no way. It just lays, probably. <laughs> just like this, I guess. Ah, I have no idea. Let's get the battery out. We'll mess with that later. Uh, where is Russell's owner said 3M makes reflective vinyl that are black in the daylight and bright white at night. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. Russell said pros doesn't take much material to wrap cons. Tons of angles and corners and nooks and crannies. Yeah, definitely. Philly in the building. I work for Home Depot. We got right, it. Gotta get the low. key out. Josh Maddox, drop a like regardless. Thanks, Josh. Everyone's dropping a like. Gibdo, 50. They all watched the Thank you guys. Mega Ride video. Uh, da, 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 da. 43 volt, 40, sorry, 43 volt, 48 volt, uh, 13 amp hour battery. So it is a 13 amp hour battery. Let's get it in and then let's just turn it on, make sure everything works and everything. 
Sorry, I wasn't listening to the your guys' comments. Can you repeat? Was there any questions? No, they're talking about the wraps. Okay. Oh, the, the I know they do a Sauron wraps. Sauron graphics or something like that. There we go. I'm just gonna leave the key in there. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got everything on. Holy crap. We're, I think we're done. Did we do that in under? No. No, not under an hour. <laughs> not under an hour. There's a few struggles with Shreddy, but I mean, we're still struggling because I don't know how this actually goes. Like, does it go like that? Josh Maddox said, bike hack, bungee cord it together when folded and try to maneuver it around. Hold on. I hope I didn't put on the... Okay, that's right. That's right. Hold on, say that again. Funny thing, bungee what? Bungee, uh... Oh, holy crap. It just it sparked, guys. It literally just sparked when I did that. Wait, is it on? You shouldn't have it on if you're folding it. No, it shouldn't be on. Wait, where did it just spark from? It, where the battery is? Let me open this in case I have to push it out. Oh, great. <laughs> I've, I don't know if that's normal because the battery was connecting in there, but I saw like a few... Sparks shoot out. <laughs> Are you serious? I am not lying. All right, you guys. Um. Okay, wait. Don't turn it on. I'm not turning. It has to be on if bike start up. No, no, no. This display is off. But I think maybe because the battery is always on. We gotta turn it okay, on. Okay, you guys. Um. How, how do you do think you we do? should turn it on if it's sparking? Give to fire I'm looking out back just to make sure. <laughs> okay, maybe you should try turning it on out back and I'll just follow you with the camera. Is there a back light? I think we're good. We're good. I think it was just a connection spark. Um, um, no, these things can blow up. Can you do it outside? There's a light right out back. How do I even turn it on? So there's a key under the battery. No, oh, there. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Houston, we, oh no, hold on, there we go. LCD display, it, it, it's our ID. It's on you guys. My Huck is, uh, has uh, blown some sparks out before. I actually blown sparks on uh, Chris Shaver's Huck when I was connecting his battery. When it was off? Yeah, well yeah, the, the bike wasn't on, but the battery has a f uh, 25 amp fuse, or a 20 amp fuse, I can't remember. But the back ends are kind of exposed metal on fuses. So what ended up happening was when I let go of the, the cable that had the, the fuse on it, the fuse kind of dropped back and touched the metal frame and it popped and it popped the fuse. And it was a, it was a big spark. It was definitely, definitely scary. I got to put some air in the tires for sure. Probably 20 PSI. Mike Morgan said the controller has capacitors that can discharge. Let me put it up. Matt said his Saron had some sparks today. Did it? <laughs> he was messing with the, the connectors. Sean Mooney, I purchased a Lyric 305 Ghost. Can't wait. Thanks, bud. Oh, heck yeah. Let me know how you like it. Or just send me a message when you get it. For yeah, sure. Yeah, tag him when you get it too if you're on um, Instagram. Were you able to use his discount code? Yeah. Link? Shreddy 300. Uh, it was $300 off. Shreddy Not 300 no or Shreddy for $100 off now. They no longer have the 300 It's now $100 off. All right, those brakes are rubbing like no other. Yep, he used your discount code. Awesome, Sean. Thank you. That actually helps support the channel, so thank you so much for using that link. I really, 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 really appreciate it. 50s cap said tilt that seat down or avoid playground. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Josh Maddox, that 305 looks really nice. It does. Yeah, the Voodoo 305 is Tyson Beckford's e-bike. It is limited edition. They are only making 305 of them. I always wonder, like... The, I love the front lights. They're really cool modern. When you, like, align brakes on e-bikes, is it the same thing with hydraulic brakes and mechanical brakes? Like, where you hold the, the brake, it centers it. I usually never have luck where, where I do it like that. I always have to eye it out after I try, like, this the first time. But we'll see, we'll see. It's, I, I feel like it's gonna 100% be rubbing. Billy in the building said, time to read the manual, LOL. What gives a little spark? <laughs> yeah, that, that was scary. It wasn't a huge spark, but it was definitely some light. <laughs> some light. 
The, this rug Eddie just brought in from the garage, it's actually like an outdoor rug, so I don't think it was static electricity from the rug, although I wish that was it. Uh-huh. Who is outdoor... Paul the man here yet? I wish we had an outdoor garage to keep this thing in. Yeah. No. Maybe I should take the battery out and keep it in the metal container. <laughs> Actually, I'm scared to open that now. 50s cap said it transforms into a taco stand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is scary doing it like this, because I've gotten cut by the rotor. What are you doing? I'm trying to straighten the, the rotor, because it's rubbing on the, you hear that? Gib just said, I use your affiliate links in Spirit Shreddy Trust. <laughs> Much love, brother. Oh, I hate doing it like this. Your phone um, just popped up something and said 99 and it was like green. Oh, it just probably started charging. I feel like with mechanical brakes, I've never, that sounds like a bent rotor. I've yeah, that, heard that sound before. That's a slightly bent rotor. So how do you fix that? You got to get a tool to bend it back, or you can just order new rotors. Somebody told me actually that you can get pliers and use the tips and kind of bend them down. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It just said, I just saw a Sasquatch run through the backyard. <laughs> what? That would be hilarious. Yeah, somebody just pops in like, hey, I'm watching your stream. Yeah, that reminds me, like, I was watching a scary movie once, and, like, or no, I think I had like a sleeper watching scary movie. My brothers and his friends like ran around the back of the house with masks on and like slammed against the back window. Let me it was see funny. Is... And we're yelling. Let's make sure those uh the pistons weren't sticking out. They seem to be Here's okay. What I found. Dude, Siri listens to me all the time. I'm scared about that. I'm just gonna leave it at this. I feel like whenever you get bikes, they always make that noise. They what? They always make that noise when you first get them. But they I usually like get them it like to not make that noise. <laughs> Some things. Have you guys watched Kill Tony? For, for, for you guys that haven't watched it, you should definitely check it out. Just binge watch on some Kill Tony. It's so funny. Might make you want to start doing comedy one day. 100% bent rotor. So what are you going to do? Looks well, like the, the um, tire not, might not be Is totally it out the back door? <laughs> seated. Oh, it looks like it's seated. It's like a slight wobble in it. Leave that at that. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough, let's flip, flip, flip it back over, answer some more comments. Matt the mechanic, you can sometimes lift the axle a little bit to even it out. Oh, uh, like uh, loosen it up and kind of move it around. I'll mess with it later. Yeah, it usually plays a little bit and stops. Oh God. <laughs> One day it's just gonna plop onto the couch and I'm gonna have to apologize. <laughs> See, it's got nice front suspension. Look at the little front badge on there, like the shape of it. That looks pretty neat. <laughs> what? He just said that squeaky is coming from inside the house. <laughs> Someone's in here. Do you like scary nice movies? Bike, I like it. Dig I love it. the rims and the bike rack and the colors. So the power buttons underneath. Got tires. I'm thinking. I don't know what that is. Okay, that goes through the menus. Headlight? Oh, yeah. Headlight. There we go. Headlight. And the backlight turned on, too. Oh, and it gets brighter, too. I definitely got to turn that seat down a little bit, but actually, it's not bad. I, I feel it in the gooch a little bit. So, pedal assist zero doesn't do anything. Dead half twist. All right. Pedal assist one. Does it get more Big power? Good job, Shreddy. 
with pedal assist. Let's see, pedal assist one. Oh yeah, you can feel the power difference, pedal assist five. That's crazy. Okay, let's not hit the cow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm happy with this build. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on that battery to see how that does. Guys, if you guys enjoyed the content up until now, please definitely don't forget to drop a like. That definitely helps boost the channel. If you guys didn't see any of the uh, shorts that I did all throughout the day, check those out and drop likes in there and comments. All that helps boost the channel. But do we have any, uh, any questions or comments? Uh, give this at another success for Shreddy. You've got an unblemished track record. I did it. I did it. Thanks to you guys for always helping. You guys are a big help. Uh, a huge help. So make sure you stay tuned for the first ride review. First ride and review of this bad boy. We'll ride it down some stairs, ride it through the beach, take it out with the, with the drone. I've been having so much fun with that drone lately. Uh, following me all autonomously, the, the Skydio 2. If you guys are interested in that Skydio 2 drone, I do have a $50 discount code uh, down below. Use code SHREDDY50, 50 bucks off that super awesome autonomous drone. And if you guys are interested in the Angway Folding EP2 Pro e-bike, check out that link down below from Amazon. If this bike isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Do we have any more questions or comments? to go through guys, so stay tuned for the next, uh, for the first re ride and review of this bad boy, the Engway EP2 Pro Folding Electric Bike, and uh, stay tuned, we're gonna be doing another unboxing, another two unboxings this I week. Electrify videos coming up. Electrify, a lot, a lot of videos oh. coming up. I got, I got some Suron videos coming up with the new, uh, the new Shinko 244s on there, after we did that uh, live stream, we put them on and I tested them that night, that's coming out. Some Suron Dune riding, uh, a lot of reviews, a lot of more unboxings, a lot of more bikes coming on the channel. Lots of fun trips coming up this winter. So probably be going to California, Florida, back to Texas, possibly Arizona. I don't know. I would love to go to Arizona. I just threw it out there because I would love to visit Arizona. <laughs> but um, I want to go to Virginia soon before Christmas. Definitely, definitely stay stay tuned for us doing a little more traveling and uh. Not catching his house on fire with e-bikes, but uh, anyways. Um, any more questions? Can we can we end it now? We're gonna end up. We're gonna end the stream now. Thank you guys for joining. We love you guys so much. This and you guys always help me out with uh, building the bikes and just uh, ha having a lot of fun in the comments. Thank you guys for uh, for joining the live stream. If you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification <laughs> to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live unboxing. We'll see you guys.